Hello everyone, Do Electronics to Embedded welcomes you all. This project is a binary to decimal converter being implemented on Ultera D1 board with Quartus 13.0 version. This application is scaled to a 2 bit binary number so we can count maximum to decimal 3. Let's start the project. This is Quartus. We'll be starting with creating a new project. We need to create a working directory for the project. In this case, we have directory called project binary to decimal. We'll select the folder. We need to name the project. So now we can name it project binary to decimal. And this will show the top module in your design file. So in our case, it is design so top as you will see it later when we'll be importing our Verilog file. Here you can import a Verilog file, but you can do it later also. Here we need to select the FPGA available on the Ultra D1 board. We have 2C20 F484C7 on D1. Here you can select a simulation tool if you want to see the waveforms. The project is created. Now to files, here you can see that there is no files in the project. Now we will import the Verilog file. This is a Verilog file. Add it, apply it, ok. So you can see that it is important into the project. So this is a Verilog file. We have seven segment output, eight bit output for one hex display. We have red LEDs to reflect the binary input, and we have two switches to represent the two input binary number. Now next step is pin assignments. We go to assignment editor and here we can see that there is no pins being assigned right now so we will assign all the pins as we have all our pin assignments copied so we will just paste it here so these are our pin assignments you can see that all seven segments zero pins are assigned to hex display for the D1 board, red LEDs, switches. Now we are good to compile our project. Here you can see the progress during the compilation and any errors or warnings being faced. Okay, so the compilation is successful. Now we need to load the configuration file into the FPGA. Let's put on the FPGA. This is the programmer. We need to import .sf file into programmer. It is available in output files folder into the project directory we created in the beginning. The .sf file. We'll select that. We'll make sure it is the board is connected using USB blaster. We'll start programming. You can see that it is 100% successful. Make sure you close this window and save the CDF file. Okay, the configuration file is being loaded. Now you can see on the board that both the least signal bits like the two two switches are zero so the uh, lsb hex is showing zero now it is zero one you can see again okay, also see it on the leds and it is again shown on the hex display it is one one so it is three this is one zero it is two it is zero zero it is zero 
thank you for more tutorials discussions and videos please subscribe to the following links